Hi guys, this is r i c e n o w So here's another development update about my dungeon crawler RPG, Reindeer. First of all, the game's title has been changed from Reindeer to Reindeer. Because Henry, who is the illustrator of this game, found out that there is a Japanese rock band with the same name. Apparently, the band has disbanded a while ago, but we wanted to avoid any confusion, so we decided to change I to Y, so it retains the same sound. Actually, I'm liking the new name better. For some reason, I feel it looks more like a fantasy RPG, so I'm totally happy about this name change. Also, we had kind of a big update in the graphics of the game. If you have been following the development videos of this game, you know the game has a very old school graphic style. It's basically black and white, and the dungeon is wireframe. Just like those classic Wizardry and other 3D dungeon games in early 80s. That said, uh, I know some of you guys have suggested to add some textures on the dungeon so it would look better. I thought about it too, but I was also a bit skeptical because the artwork done by Henry is not like、uh, polygon graphics or like,、um, how to say, not really look like computer graphics. So it's more like drawing. So, I thought it might not be easy to create a background that fits this kind of art style. Then one day, I happened to find this picture when I was looking at some fantasy related pictures. This picture is black and white, kind of similar to the style of my game, so I thought, wow, this looks pretty cool. It would be nice if I could have this kind of background. So, I started to do some experiment behind the scene. I showed Henry some sample texture image and asked if he can draw something like this. And、uh, he said, sure, no problem. And drew several versions of wall and floor textures. So, I started to implement these to my wireframe dungeon. And、uh, I think it worked well. Actually, It worked better than I had expected. Anyway,、uh, let me show you the result. I added the textures to every wall, floor, and ceiling, and I also made some shadow filter with Photoshop so you can easily recognize the distance. I was pretty satisfied with my original wireframe graphics, and、uh, I was a bit reluctant to add any new element, but now looking at it,、uh, I am a believer of this new look. 
it might not be perfect yet and we still need to tweak a little bit but I think it looks pretty cool so it turned out to be a huge uh, design direction change of the game it was unexpected I didn't think this would happen but I'm happy about it I'm still thinking to keep the wireframe dungeon as an option though in the NES version of Wizardry you could choose both textured dungeon and wireframe dungeon so I think implement the option but anyway this is all thanks to Henry uh, without his illustrations, this could never happen. That's for sure. So, what do you think about this new dungeon? Do you prefer the classic wireframe dungeon or this? So, please let us know and thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day.